yes guys and welcome back to a, another video so today's gonna be a little bit different because we're actually gonna go to a guy called Paul which if you have been following the King of the Hill episode you'll know uh, he was on episode 2 and he was the guy who destroyed his gearbox oh my Just god my gearbox. <laughs> Well, it wasn't funny at the time, but we can laugh about it now. So we're just going to go up now and pretty much go over what happened, why it happened, what happened after it, and just give you guys a bit of background of of the car, really. If you're new here and you haven't seen the King of the Hill episodes, I have made a playlist down below, so go check it out. There is three at the minute, and there is loads more to come. So if you guys want your car featuring or you know a friend that wants their car doing, Hit up the Facebook page, I'll put it at the bottom of the screen. We're just gonna go over and talk about it. So, let's do it. Right, so we've just landed. Uh, we're just gonna see what Paul's saying then. If you notice in the camera angle's a little bit off, I'm using a GoPro at the minute, so we don't know how the audio's gonna turn out or anything else, so just bear with us guys. This is just a tester. If not, I'll carry on using my old camera, but. But yeah, let's go see Paul. Right, so <clears throat> back with Paul. Um, if they've watched King of the Hill, they'll know what's going on. But what happened? Uh, shattered third gear on the third launch. It was the last launch as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it was. That's the, what did my head in, because we'd gone through filming of all day. We did a couple of hours or whatever, and we was literally on our way back. And then literally the last traffic light <laughs> yeah. to get to the car park. Sod's law, isn't it? Yeah. And when, because I remember, because when we was pulling up, I was like, oh, there's a red light coming. Oh, red light. Oh, I mean, red light. light. <clears throat> and then a car pulled out. I think it was a Volvo. Three guys, you ready? Oh. But to six there. And we was both looking at it like, oh, I don't know if we can make it or not. And then I was like, yeah, go on then. And then, and then you did it. And I remember, because when I clicked, when it, when the draggy, uh, finished, I was getting jolly on the because uh, of the times, and then you was like, I broke my gearbox. Like, <laughs> yeah. If you look, if you look at the clip, the next my face literally you, the emotion <laughs> yeah. gets sucked out because I'm like, ah, jolly, and I'm like, ah, <laughs> yeah. what, what happened? What what was going through your head? Well, since I put this gearbox on, I realized that that old gearbox was would have been on its last legs. Anyway. Yeah, this car was <clears> never <throat> looked after before I bought it, and I abused the hell out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and I turned the power up that Thursday before we filmed on that Saturday and it was less than 48 hours later I shattered third gear and it was all the third gear was in the bottom of the box there was no engagement or feel or anything in third when I was trying to find the gear nothing at all not even a fork catching on a shaft or anything it, mm. was, it was gone what I noticed as well is when when you play the clip back um, when you're launching you go through second to third and it almost feels like you don't even catch it and then it, it went just instantly. Goes, yeah, it went then... instantly. It was like a dip the clutch. You could yeah. hear it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was like a dip the clutch. But no, it just instantly flat shifted into third, and it, it just it just shattered it. <laughs> so third gear was fucked. It's gone. Dude. Yeah, it went instantly. Yeah, I got no more drive from being in second to shifting into third. There was no more drive. Yeah. So that 4.38 can be a sub four if I try hard. Because I didn't even get a very good launch. If you listen on the video, it bogged down as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. I remember as well when when we parked up and I was I was doing my outro and you opened the door, it literally sounded like your car had spanners in it. Yeah. Oh, it sounded so bad. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Right. Well, it was the old O2Q gearbox as well, so there's loads of play. The, the uh, dark side sell a shim kit for it. Yeah. So it's a new cap and they sell little shims to take play out of the input shaft. And there's like, there's about five or six mil of play on that input shaft of that gearbox. They're supposed to have a tiny bit, but not a lot. Yeah, not that much. The box I've put in now is from a 2008 R32, where they addressed the issue with the, ship, with ah. the input shaft. And it had only done about 50,000 miles, I think. To low mile box. So, from when the gearbox sh shit itself, what what happened then? What literally taught me through? T tell the people what happened after. Immediately after. Yeah. Or, well, literally immediately from after. when we pulled up to me cutting the video. What happened after that? Um, I sat and waited another forty minutes. Got recovered. Yeah. Um, that weren't too bad. Um, 
I got some parts in the house that I could have got rid of anyway, so finding a gearbox wasn't too bad. Uh, somebody had got one, and he wanted a AAA forge crank, so we did a swap on that. Oh, you so, got rid of it? Yeah. Oh. So 10 o'clock on the Sunday morning, I, I was over at, uh, it was only Barnsley as well, actually. I was over at Barnsley fetching a gearbox. Yeah. So I got the gearbox. Um, Monday it got chucked in. How long did it take you to get the box in? Uh, I was driving back around Tuesday. So we Car broke fixed. down Saturday, it was driving Tuesday. Driving Tuesday, yeah. Right guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Again, I'm filming on the GoPro, so I don't know how it's going to come out, but hopefully I'm praying it's good and something I can keep using because then I can uh, mount it in the car a bit better and get a much better view. Um, but yeah, thanks everyone so much for watching. We're definitely going to be getting Paul back again because really good lad and nice to talk to and he knows his stuff. And <laughs> it's absolutely nuts. <laughs> It reminds me of what I would do if I had money. But anyway, we're going to cut it here. Um, watch out for the King of the Hill episodes and make sure you like this video to show me some support. Um, also, give GBD Tailing a like on Facebook as well because he actually supports this channel. Um, he's currently sponsoring the King of the Hill episode, so uh, anybody gets a chance to win some free stuff if they win. Um, and if not, you get 10% off anyway. But you have to mention Project 7. But anyway, thank you everyone so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. 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 Bye.